Welcome to MB's Academy. In this video, we are going to learn Vogel's approximation method. So, without any delay, let us quickly jump into the question. In, in this question, there are three rows and four columns, and it has demand and supply. To further continue the Vogel's method, we should our demand is equals to supply so let us calculate the demand and supply 45000 plus 50000 plus 55000 is the demand and we got 150000 so let us calculate supply 50000 plus 40000 plus 30000 plus 30000 150000 so the demand and supply are equal. Now we can continue the Vogel's method. So the step one is we should minus the second largest, second smallest number with the first smallest number in the row. So the smallest number in the row is 10. And the second smallest number after 10, 20 is the smallest number, right? So now we should minus 20 minus 10. We will get 10. We should write 10 within the bracket. The first smallest number is 15 in the second row, and the second smallest first uh, second smallest number is 40. So 40 minus 15. 40 minus 15. 25. Likewise, we should do for the last row. So, 10 is the first smallest number and after 10, 22 is the next smallest number. 22 minus 10. It is 12. Now, do the similar step, same step with all the columns, 4 columns. The numbers which we got is from the first smallest number in this column is 20 minus 22. Second smallest number is 22 minus 2 is equals to 2. So 25 minus 10, 15. 45 minus 15, 30. 35 minus 10, 25. So we are done with the first step. Now the second step is we should check. Which number is highest number in this bracket? So 30, 30 is the highest number. Right? So now we should take this column to further continue the step. So in this column, 15 is the smallest number. So let us take 15. Okay? And 30,000 is the supply. So we should write this 30,000 here. Right and cancel out this 30,000. So 50,000 minus 30,000 is 20,000. Right? So as the 30,000 is cancelled, we should min cancel this entire row. So now again we should make a new matrix box and Write this 20, 25, 45, 50, 22, 10, 10, 40, 35. Except this column. We should write other three columns in a new area. So in this new matrix, we should write, we should start with our step 1. First row minus the first Second smallest number with the first smallest number. So 20 minus 10 is 10. 45 minus 40, 5. 22 minus 10 is 12. And in this row, in this column, 20 minus 22 minus 22, 25 minus 10, 15. 10 minus 35 minus 10 
25. So now again we should select the largest number within the bracket. It is 25. As compared to other numbers, 25 is the largest number. So we should choose this column, third column. So in this column, we should take smallest number, that is 10. And we should select 30,000. It is smallest as compared to 45. We should select smallest number, that is 30,000. 30,000. So now we should cancel this 30,000. And minus 30,000 from 45,000, we will get 15,000. So cancel this entire row because 30,000 is gone. So again we should uh, write this new matrix in a new space and continue our step 1. So now let us continue with the step 1. So the step 1 is 20 minus 25. As there is only 2 numbers we can we should subtract only these 2. So we will get 5 minus 45 minus 50 minus 45 is 5. 22 minus 10 is 12. And in this we should take second smallest minus first smallest number. 22 minus 20. 25 minus 10. 15. So as compared to these numbers, 15 is smaller, largest number. So in this we should take smallest number from this column that is 10. And smallest number in this demand and supply is 40,000. So, 40,000. So, 40,000 is cancelled out. 55,000 minus 40,000 is 15,000. So, as this column, this column is cancelled out, we should minus this column. So, again we should do step 1. We should write a new, uh, we should write this in a new space. So in this new call new column, remaining column, 22 minus 20 is 2. So in this we should take the smallest number that is 20. So 15,000 demand cancel. 15,000 minus 15,000 minus 15,000. 35,000. Cancel this row. Now again you should write 45 and 22 and new column. Now there are only two numbers so we should minus 45 with 22. So let us minus that. We get 20. 23. Okay. Smallest number is 22 and in this demand and supply, smallest number is 15,000. 15,000 minus, minus. So 35,000 minus 15,000. 20,000. So now we got to understand that this sum which we did, this steps which we did is correct. Because the demand and supply is 20,000 right so let us make a new box okay so now we should minus the 20,000 20,000 okay after writing so now our each steps are cut let us write the conclusion step for this sum okay this is very very important to write the conclusion step which will give you full mark for this question. First write number of rows. So the number of rows in this sum is 3. 1, 2, 3. So the number of rows is taken as M is equals to 3. Next number of columns so the number of columns 1 2 3 4 
so number of columns will be taken as n k n is equals to 4 right and then since summation a r is equals to summation b j is equals to summation a i means adding a i demand is equals to supply so we got 1 lakh 50 thousand so it is equal since it is equal we write the transportation problem is balanced the given transportation problem is balanced further we write m plus m minus 1 so it is equal so it should be equal m plus n minus 1 is 3 plus 4 rows plus columns minus 1 3 plus 4 minus 1 is 6 and the allocated cells now we should find the total allocated cells is equals to how to find the total allocated cells so let us take the sum which we did so it is allocated right so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is the total allocated cell is 6 so the total allocated cell is 6 and the formula also has 6 it basic feasible solution And the each allocated cells are considered as X. So this allocated cell is X23. That is second row, third column. Right? So should write X23 is equals to the allocated number is 30,000. Next, X, first row, third column. First row, third column. So, it will be written as X13 is 30,000. Likewise, we should write for each allocated number. To avoid the confusion, we can write the entire matrix again and allocate the number in the new matrix. So this is the matrix which we solved. So the number will be allocated like for 15, there is 30,000, right? So we should allocate again, allocate this in this new matrix, 30,000. For 10, 40,000. And to ten thirty thousand twenty fifteen thousand forty five twenty two forty five twenty two twenty fifteen thousand twenty two fifteen thousand. Forty-five twenty thousand. So now it will be easy to write the number. So for x two three, x two three it is thirty thousand. So this thirty thousand is x one four. It will be one four. X one two, one two is equals to fifteen thousand. X 2, 1 that is 2 1 is 20,000 x 3 1 3 1 15,000 
and 3 2 x 3 2 is equals to 40,000 okay so now we should find the transportational cost transportation cost so it is easy to find the transportation cost we should multiply the allocated number with this cell number 15,000 into 20,000 30,000 into 10 sorry 15,000 into 20 30,000 into 10 20,000 into 45 30,000 into 15 15,000 into 22 40,000 into 10 and add all the multiplied number now add all the number 15,000 into 20 plus so we can do like 15,000 into 20 add in memory 20,000 into 45 memory 30,000 into 15 memory 30,000 into 10 15,000 into 22 40,000 into 10 so now we can recall the we we'll get 26,80,000. So this is the answer. I think you guys understood the Vogels method. And if you want the related videos on operational research, you can comment below for the update. Thank you.